crap. I get to talk about Age of Calamity. I have been so pumped for this game since it was announced by Nintendo and A.G. Anomu. Uh, it is a prequel to Breath of the Wild, and there is a free demo out. You can play it right now, and I have to say, it's quite an extensive demo. They essentially gave you the entire beginning of the game. See, I went into the demo thinking, oh yeah, you'll get like the first mission, and that's it. But you actually get to do a bunch of side missions and other things. You get to get into the cooking. You get to explore three different playable characters. Uh, and they all play very differently. We'll get into this. Uh, you get to see a few of the cutscenes. You get to see part of the story. You get to learn about the little mini guardian. Like, there is so much packed into this demo. It is... I, I, my mind is kind of blown I, that this is just the demo. This is just like the opening area of the game. My word, how long is this single-player campaign going to be? Now... I am really, really excited, and I, I, I want to say my general takeaways, you know, if, if you don't want any of the fluff, you don't want any of the, the details, my general takeaways are, this is awesome, this is exciting, if you are a Breath of the Wild fan like me, you are going to love this game, the scenery, I mean, I know you're zipping around, fighting the moblins and all, but like the, the Zelfos, but the scenery, man. There is so much scenery in this game. Seeing Hyrule before it was destroyed, so much stuff from Mave Village to Hyrule Castle in, in the very first stage to so much more. I, I can't wait to explore the rest of Hyrule, uh, even in these corridor off sections, which they put up the right kind of scenery to make the corridor off sections make sense. Um, I can't wait to explore the rest of the world, but my word, is it amazing? Are the cutscenes great? King Roan actually acting like a real king? Like We, we haven't seen... A king in a Zelda game uh, really stand out or act like a king in the past. Uh, you know, we, we've we've had some fringe experiences with the king of Hyrule uh, back in Ocarina of Time, and he's been mentioned here and there. Obviously, in Breath of the Wild, we see him after Hyrule has fallen, uh, and there's King of the Red Lions again after Hyrule has fallen in the Wind Waker. But we don't really get to see a, a king being kingly, and in this game, you get to see, and in this demo, you get to see King Roan being kingly. You get to see him with his badass sword, dude. He's got a sword that is just makes the Master Sword look like a little puny piece of crap, if I'm being completely honest. Uh, but yeah, the, you get to experience a lot. So my grand takeaway is, if you enjoy Breath of the Wild... You are going to love this game, uh, even if you're not into the combat. And I think that's one thing I want to mention is that, you know, the combat won't be for everyone. Now, let's get into some of the nitty gritty because this is, I, I've been waiting seemingly forever to make this kind of video. Um, you start off, obviously, as Link. You're, uh, there, there's an opening cutscene uh, that, that kind of takes you into your opening battle where you need to defend Hyrule. And uh, you're just a normal soldier, but obviously you clearly have a skill set beyond the normal soldiers. Uh, and these, yes, you know, I remember when I when I first live streamed this when it came out, uh, some people were like, I don't remember Link having those moves in Breath of the Wild. Well, because of course he doesn't have those moves in Breath of the Wild. Some of them he does, like you can shield surf, uh, you can paraglide. There is a slowdown animation where you could shoot arrows if you jump off of things. Uh, you do have some of the uh, Sheikah Slate abilities. Actually, you have all four of the Sheikah Slate abilities. Uh, so there are there is some familiarity in some of the movesets. But obviously, there's also a lot of, you know, it's a hack and slasher. That's what this game is. It's a Muso game. It's hack and slash. That's not the kind of gameplay Breath of the Wild offers. So there's going to be fundamental gameplay differences. Link's not going to exactly have the exact same moveset that he did in Breath of the Wild. Wild. Plus, you have to consider that while Link was asleep for a hundred years, it's possible that he's not quite the warrior he once was in Breath of the Wild. It is entirely possible that Link has forgotten a bunch of his moves. Just something to consider. I think what's more interesting is later when uh, Zelda's playable. But anyways, in this first opening stage, you are right smack up in the middle of Hyrule Field and, and Hyrule Castle and, and, and having a lot of fun taking out Moblins, kind of learning how to play the game, uh, taking out a whiz robe. Uh, you get to play as Impa as well. So, so Link is basically all about the sword play plus a bow that you can use with ZR. And then there's a whole bunch of slowdown combat and, and different combos and stuff you can learn, uh, including when you like take out a whiz robe, you actually can use those abilities. Then you know whether it's a fire rod or ice rod or electric rod doesn't matter. You get to use those abilities as well as you pick them up on the battlefield, just like you can in Breath of the Wild. So that's really cool, and you can do that with all the characters, not just Link. Uh, but then you get to then, then you meet Impa, and you get to play as Impa. 
And I think what's really cool in playing as Impa is that uh, Impa has some really kick-ass abilities uh, that make you wonder why the Moblins were chasing her and why she was afraid in the first place, of course. Uh, I get that it's just a cutscene, but whatever. Uh, Impa just kicks some major ass. She, she uses a lot of... Um, she does do like close range combat like Link does with a sword, but the combat's a, a, a little different. You have this ability to make copies of yourself by powering up runes, uh, and then you can obviously have, have her ultimate ability as well, you know, where, where you, you power everything up and then you hit A. Uh, all characters have that ability. Uh, it's just a different ability for each one. Um, the bigger characters like Moblins or the really big Bokoblins, uh, that have health bars above them. You know, they have break points and, and different strategies you can use as well. Uh, and yes, you know, she has the ability to use uh, the Sheikah Slate abilities as well. Which, by the way, for those who want to know, how can all these characters use the Sheikah Slate abilities? Well, one, Impa had the Sheikah Slate at one point, and then Link picked it up for a moment, and then it later goes to Zelda. But beyond that, uh, there's this little uh, mini guardian that's introduced very early in the game, I think in the opening cutscene, actually. Uh, and the mini guardian is around when Hyrule is being destroyed and, uh, in the ruckus is somehow able to time travel. Now, this is the first time we have actually seen time travel in the Breath of the Wild universe. Obviously it's existed in the Zelda universe, you know, Ocarina of Time, hello people. But, uh, we, it's kind of interesting. It opens a portal and it's just able to go through that portal. Uh, and I'm curious why this guardian has the ability to time travel and if that ability is going to come into play later on in the story, also in Breath of the Wild 2, it is entirely possible this mini little guardian character is going to end up in, well, you know, Breath of the Wild 2. So something to, to, to possibly consider as we explore, unless unless the guy ends up getting destroyed uh, during all the ruckus here, which I guess is possible. It creates a timeline conundrum, but whatever. Technically could get destroyed. Uh, we'll see what happens. I just know that I'm really, really excited to see uh, how that particular little character progresses. Uh, honestly, it kind of reminds me of R2-D2. Anyways, uh, so Impa plays plays really, 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 really fun. Uh, the character I find clunkiest was Zelda. So you have to play with Zelda, uh, not in this stage, but in a later stage, because you meet Princess Zelda after this battle. There's a whole cutscene about it. Uh, and Princess Zelda... Um, is very very um I, I i just not fun i guess is the way i would describe her combat so in her combat abilities you're able to use you know all of the sheikah slate abilities but that's it and you don't get to use them in the same way that link and the other characters do it's your main button like so you hit x right and it's like you know throw that's your main attack button and, and you're just kind of whipping a magnet around hitting people uh pulling a, a, a brick or a block or whatever a, a barrel out of nowhere uh, you can then you know do combos and bring up the ice pillars you can do the, the coolest ability she has where you roll the giant bomb and it's a remote bomb then you hit zr to, to detonate it that's a really neat ability but she's really slow and and really clunky uh i i did not like how she controlled at all but to be fair zelda isn't supposed to have combat like training or any combat abilities so it almost makes sense from a story perspective that zelda would be clunky and, and so i kind of found myself appreciating the clunkiness of playing with zelda yeah she could still kick some ass but Honestly, if you're playing on the hardest difficulty, which I did for a while, uh, yeah, she's not going to be a lot of people's favorite character to play with. Uh, she's just a, a little slow, a little clunky, a little more difficult to pull off things. She has no close range melee ability, so enemies get really tight on her. It can be a little difficult. Uh, but, I mean, she's got her own unique movesets, and, and she's a, an interesting character to play with, but she's clearly, in my opinion, one of the least powerful characters of the at least the three we could play so far. Obviously, Link's pretty OP. Obviously, Impa's pretty OP. Uh, Zelda's kind of the weak link of the three, but it makes sense. She should be the weak link of the three. In fact, one, uh, one of the uh, one of the scenes you do, you're running away from a guardian, and you're trying to activate two other guardians that'll help you out. Uh, and like, there's a scene for where a majority of that battle, Link is kind of, or Link Zelda is kind of like a damsel. So like, you're trying to protect her and everything, and then she finally decides to help out with combat. But again. She's not that great at it. So, 
It is what it is. I actually barely survived that full stage and encounter, and I only played it on normal difficulty. I can't imagine when I go to very hard on that one because I like, I like to play through Hyrule Warriors on very hard. Uh, how difficult that battle is going to be because the Guardians are no joke, man. I don't know how many more Guardians you face off against, but they are no joke. They're almost harder than they are in Breath of the Wild. So like, don't you don't want to mess with Guardians in this game if you if you can avoid them. I don't know how often you'll be able to avoid them. There's probably going to be maps later where you have to face off against multiple of them. But who knows, maybe the other champions have better abilities at working in some when you get to finally play as them. Because it seems like the next stage after this demo is to choose one of the champion areas to go to. Or you're obviously going to be unlocking one of the champions to play with as you're going on your recruiting spree. Because Zelda is told to go recruit people to run the uh, Divine Beast. Now, again, King Ron is very kingly throughout all of this. Kind of reminding Zelda, hey, don't get sidetracked. Don't do this. You do what I tell you to do. You guys all do what I tell you to do. He he's very like, yeah, like I'm in charge. I just want to reassert that I'm in charge because I'm in charge. I'm the king, uh, which is exactly what a king does, especially in a time of crisis, in a time of war. Hyrule's at war in this game, guys. You know, they call it Hyrule Warriors. It's literally a war. There is a war happening. Uh, and you're a smack dab in the middle of it from the get-go. And I really like that. Now, when you talk about specifics, one major criticism that, that, that's come out about this game is the frame rate. Uh, the resolution as well. Now, I played this on a giant... I, I did play a little bit in handheld to, to get a grasp of the experience. I did play this on like a giant 60-inch or 65-inch TV or whatever, 4K TV at that. Uh, and it's definitely not 1080p. Uh, I think the official numbers are out there. I think the top end it hits is 720p, uh, and it dips as low as 540p in in uh, docked mode, and then in handheld mode, like it tops out at 540p and dips as low as 360p. Whatever, those are kind of like the resolution numbers. Those don't matter to me as much as say the frame rates. So right now, this game targets 30 fps. Uh, that's what the demo targets. You're unable to toggle anything on and off. There's there's no performance mode. Again, just a demo. The final game might have a performance mode that lets you hit 60 FPS or unlocks the FPS because you lower resolutions. I, I'm not sure. Uh, I, I bring this up because Fire Emblem Warriors ran very, very well. Uh, you were able to run it at close to lock 30 or close to lock 60, and you would you know, just change which mode you prefer. Like, did you prefer prettier visuals, lower frame rate, or did you prefer higher frame rate and lower resolution? So uh, I don't know if that's going to be an option in the final game, so I do need to note that about these impressions. But it does have frame rate issues. Uh, it frequently dips down to 20 FPS. And I don't just mean like when you're doing the purposeful slowdown animations where, where like you can jump off a cliff or jump off, you know, a, a, an ice block or whatever, uh, you know, to, to you know do your little slow motion firing arrow trick or whatever attack you're using with, with, with whichever character you're doing it with. But I, I, the frame rate is a problem. Uh, it's a problem in so much that if you can't handle gameplay at 20 FPS, this is going to really frustrate you. You, I hit 20 FPS minimum all the time. Uh, every single, I don't think there was a single battle I was in where I didn't dip down to 20 FPS at, at some point. I could just, you could feel it. Now, does this bother me? The thing is, Hyrule Warriors originally back on the Wii U, had a lot of issues. And if you've ever played Dynasty Warrior games, you would know that most Dynasty Warrior games have a ton of frame rate issues. This is extremely common. And I've, I've seen some people walking around like, oh, is Nintendo being lazy? Nintendo didn't make this game. Koei Tecmo made this game. Nintendo assisted. The way Nintendo assisted wasn't with gameplay. Gameplay was all done by Koei Tecmo. And they just have a horrible habit with Musou games uh, of... of not nailing frame rate. Now, I hoped they learned their lesson with Fire Emblem Warriors because we got really great frame rate. But now we're back to Zelda, a new Warriors game for Zelda, and the frame rate is back to being really bad. So I don't know if it's Zelda specific. I don't know what's happening. Again, we have to caveat this is the demo. The final game could have options in it that do not exist in the demo. Currently, I would feel like those options should be in the demo since you're literally playing part of the game and, you know, good news, your save data transfers over. So everything I've done in this demo, literally, I could just continue it once the full game comes out. But I'm still, I can't sit here and pretend I'm not frustrated because I am. And I just hope this is something that gets addressed over time. 
uh, you know, with updates or whatever. What was weird with the original Hyrule Warriors is it had less frame rate issues on the new Nintendo 3DS when they made the Legends version version than they did on Wii U. And the Switch is more powerful than all these platforms. So I honestly, it is something that I wish would get fixed. But you know, that's pretty much my only complaint. Uh, I was very shocked at how long this demo was. It's literally the entire first area, all the side quests, all the back. You can even unlock things and other, uh, you know, you can replay battles and gather materials and unlock things on other sections of the map you can't visit. So, like, you can unlock stables on, on other sections of the map. Uh, you can unlock recipes on other sections of the map that aren't just in your main area. You just can't do the big main story progression battles in those areas. So, it, it's just... It's a lot. There's a lot here. It, it took me probably an hour and a half, I would say, on normal to get through everything. Um, you know, everything I could possibly do on the mini map. And even then, I know there's some hidden Koroks because that they hid Koroks in this game again. Uh, if Korok seeds, and I know the whole purpose, you know, what we, like the Koroks are giving us Korok seeds. I haven't figured out what the purpose of that was because before it was all about you know stuff that happened in the Lost Woods and Hetsu needing his seeds back. And like, okay, but now that you know, that happened then. Why are we collecting seeds now? What What's the excuse now? Are we going to find out? I assume we're going to find out because the game does tell us we need to go to the ma go get the Master Sword. But uh, that the Lost Woods is entirely taken over by the bad guys right now. Uh, so we get to see Lost Woods pretty much in a destroyed state. So that's going to be interesting to see um, and try to try to win Lost Woods back. But yeah, I'm... And, and obviously, see the Great Deco Tree. Great Deco Tree's got to be involved somehow in this, especially with the Master Sword involved. So this is going to be uh, a very interesting quest. I'm as a Zelda fan. I'm you know my I, the whole time I'm playing. I'm just in awe of seeing Hyrule the way you know that we haven't seen it before uh, in Breath of the Wild. I'm in awe of the story. Every cutscene that comes up, I'm just smiling. Uh, and the thing is, we know there's a bad ending to this, or at least we presume it, unless they retcon it. I have no idea. But um, I'm I'm just I, I I want more. I didn't want to stop playing, and theoretically I could keep playing because you can replay battles and, and collect materials and farm materials, uh, which is something you might want to do anyways. Because there's an entire upgrade system in here. Uh, you can level your characters up. Uh, Link's obviously my highest level character because there's certain uh, you know battles and situations you can only use Link for. Uh, but yeah, you can level your characters up. You can level your items up. Um, you know, you collect different items, and, you know, I actually had to sell some. I collected too many swords for Link, so I had to sell off some of my weaker stuff. But, yeah, it, there's, you know, changing out a weapon, changing out. There's just a lot, a lot to take in. And I implore you, it's free. Go give it a try. You don't have to take my word for it. If you own a Switch, you have no reason not to try it if you're not interested It's because it, it's free to do. Uh, if it's not for you, I totally get it. Muso games are not for everyone. But uh, when it comes to Zelda... Dude, the story alone makes me want to play. And the gameplay is pretty enthralling at first as well. There's, there's something satisfying about taking out hordes and hordes of Bokoblin and Lizelfos, Moblins and all that. Like There's just something, something satisfying about something that felt so much more difficult in Breath of the Wild. Just being able to take them out like you're this grand master champion that could just dominate. Basically, like you're as good as Rivali claims that he is in Breath of the Wild. Um, back in those old cutscenes. Anyways, you guys let me know what you think about it if you tried out the demo. I think later today I might even upload, uh, if, the, if the news continues to be a little slow today because it was slow this morning, uh, I might upload even all of my gameplay I have recorded for Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. I don't normally do that, but man, am I excited for this game. So giving you guys like an hour and a half of, of uh, straight footage, you know, no commentary or anything. I think uh, could be a value to some of you guys. So let me know what you think down in the comments below. I am Nathaniel Robojance from Nintendo Prime, and I will catch all of you guys in the next video.